But we must begin to understand that in a concept of forming inside our community a united front, a black united front, which engulfs every sector, every facet, and every person inside our community working Free for the, the benefit of black Free people. Land. Free the land. Free the land. Uhuru. Uhuru. All right. Uh, I want to thank actually your brother Salim from National Black United Front for having this event and inviting us out. It's really important that we get together and discuss this and really have a memorial for our brother who passed away. Uh, Students Against Mass Incarceration started around four months ago. We're a relatively new organization on Howard's campus. And we came together because we saw the need and we really read and learned a, a lot about uh, understanding there were still political prisoners <coughs> that are locked up and people, and literally millions of our people that are locked up as a uh, uh, system mentioned, been in the prison industrial complex. And we saw the need that this had to be done. We had to actually take responsibility for our community, not just sit and let you know elders and others around, but actually take responsibility and following that tradition of black radical activism on college campuses. So. As we begin to study this more and more, we've read books like The New Jim Crow. We've actually connected with various student uh, community organizations like NBUF, Black August Planning Organization, really the range of organizations that are here today and really to, to really begin to actually make this change and really take up the baton for the generation that's come ahead of us. So I want to thank you for inviting us out. i uh, really like to get people's contact information so we can stay in touch and really make these connections on and off the campus, bring the campus off campus, onto the community, people on the campus, into the community. Thank you. Free the land.